Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about one of the functions of dplyr package which is one of the very useful package in R for transforming your data into information. So let's go ahead and talk about the sorting feature of the dplyr library which is the topic of this video and a very quick one uh, as you have just two different ways where you can sort either ascending or descending. So basically the idea, the function is arrange and if it is not coming directly then you may need to first of all import the library and say dplyr once you do that you will get this function which is a range and you say range first of all define the data set the empty cars which we are using and i've used in the previous video and talked about it how the, the variables the columns and the data that is present and now after specifying the data set we need to say what are all the columns by which we need the data in ascending. So default is ascending, but if you want descending, we need to use a different function. So let's first talk about descending. So empty cars has the uh, columns like CYL, which is cylinder, and then AM, which is nothing but automatic and manual car. So once I do that, I get this data in ascending order for CYL, 4, 6, 8, and for am am is somehow changed because for four first it is coming zero and one then again for six it is coming first zero and then one because it's in ascending now let's see how you can go ahead and change it in a descending one so let's say for cylinder we want to change it to a descending so just specify desa which is descending order for your cylinder column and go ahead and enter it now eight will come first as expected and for 8 0 will come first because am is still in ascending order and then the 1 similarly then 6 will come 0 and 1 and so on and so forth so that's how very easily you can specify either descending which is uh, forcefully you need to do that and ascending is a default format and you can keep on specifying the columns based on your needs on how you want to sort the data so that's all I wanted to talk in this quick video to tell you about how to sort ascending and descending order. And I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.